Howdy folks, I'm gonna do a metal update, so I might wanna do more regularly. Talk about more metal on the channel. Metal's where I came from, metal's what I uh, end up going back to in my uh, in times of need. Although I go through phases, you know, I've kind of, uh, I've kind of just become a country guy since, since uh, COVID. Um, like my country listening and fandom is going way up. Um, but, uh, metal man, there was a, there was a dude, I don't know if y'all remember, but there was a dude on, uh, old VC guy, Biosite One. I don't know what he is up to now. And I forget his name, but Biosite One, he was the metal and country guy. <laughs> he would do like metal hard rock vinyl updates and then, uh, honky tonk country updates. Good dude. I found a lot of cool music from watching his channel. I hope he is well, but, uh, yeah. I'm gonna do a metal update. Bought a lot of metal recently. Going to a lot of metal shows. Um, and we're gonna keep the, the metal, keep the metal alive. Just the only thing that makes sense to me in this crazy world. Um, <laughs> uh, normally I do these alphabetically, but I'm kind of do them by where I picked stuff up from. Um, so uh, I went back to Meteor Gem Records, uh, which um, me and uh, Vance and Mike Hubtunes. And Richard Calvin Wazoo talked about in our rec record crawl. Those one of the places we stopped at. Uh, I went there the other night uh, before a metal show to pregame and pick up some records. One of which uh, I left behind from the record crawl that I ended up picking up, and I got two more things as well. So the one I left behind that I circle back to is uh, the new Crowbar Zero and Below, uh, New Orleans sludge metal, uh, absolutely legendary and highly influential band. Um, this is their newest record, I believe their fourth or fifth since they reunited back in 2010. Uh, and this is my favorite since 2010. This record is obnoxiously heavy. Um, it just has some of their best riffs and best production since they got back together. I, uh, absolutely love, love this record. The last few have just kind of been like, you know, I thought we're fine. This record is hard um it's always worth the gain is my pick extremely heavy track but yeah really really killer stuff there's the boys on the inner and there's a t this is one of those records where there was like a million variants and uh they all use the same color scheme but they did different effects so this is like a blue white and silver merge very cool looking, very icy, much like the uh, the record cover. And feel stick could be a 180 gram record, but yeah, really, if you're a fan of Crowbar, if you have not heard this yet, please go check this record out. Really, really dope. This one I shared on Instagram. I was really excited to find this. This is Gehenna, uh, Black and Hardcore from California. This is the Upon the Grave Hill album. Um, this is their uh, second full-length record, uh, the only one I was missing from their classic material. Um, they've actually just put out a uh, sort of a reunion record that I have not picked up yet, uh, but I'm very excited to. But yeah, um, I did not know that this had been uh, reissued so recently. There's only a, a handful of pressings out there. There was the original, there was one in 2010, and then this one, I guess, just came out last year. But, you know, I saw the purple poly bag, and I was like, oh, what's that? And then I saw the record cover behind it, and I was like, oh, shit. So, very, very excited to get this. I love Gehenna, just like absolutely nasty, fast, hardcore metal. Um, if you like your, you know, your, they're from the Holy Terror world. So if you, you like your integrities and your uh, ringworms and in cold bloods, uh, Gehenna is dope. Uh, very cool purple black splatter wax, looks amazing with the light behind it. Uh, yeah, really, really dope. So happy to add this to the Gehenna collection, and um, yeah, just gonna pick up that uh, pick up that new record, which I haven't I haven't even uh, streamed it yet, but love uh, Gehenna quite a bit. Not to be confused, but there's another. Uh, it's either a black metal or death metal band called Gehenna. Uh, one of my uh, favorite death metal releases of late, uh, and I feel like this is a band that is a uh, kind of not getting uh, the most chatter as of late because there's so many new death metal bands. Uh, and this band, who, who I think are really a cut above, um, 
not as many people talking about this band, uh, but I am a huge, huge fan. Uh, this is a band called Witch Vomit. Uh, this is the record buried deep in a bottomless grave. Um, just, it, there's not really like, there's not much to this, you know? And I don't say that as a negative. I just mean like, it's just extremely good, crushing wall-to-wall -wall death metal. Um, and I, maybe that's why people aren't talking about it because it doesn't have like uh, another thing to add to it. It is just expertly performed <laughs> um, death metal with with some slower kind of doomy stuff in there too. But yeah, um, really, really enjoy this record. Like I said, with the big death metal boom, I feel like there is a lot to choose from and I think people are just picking and choosing. But if you are picking and choosing death metal, I would not skip out on the Switch Vomit record. Uh, they put out an EP last year as well, but it was also quite good. Uh, but this is their debut, debut full length or maybe second full length, from what I said. I can't remember if it's two, AP, two EPs and an LP or uh, the other way around, but amazing promo photo on, on the insert. Um, and I was waiting to get a color variant to this. Uh, this kind of counts as a color variant. Uh, it's one of those that, uh, you know, I'm sure they thought it would be a cool concept and it didn't really pan out, but it's like a red and black galaxy but it's also translucent, so you really can't see the galaxy unless you hold it up to the light. But I do like the kind of one streak of blood in there. It almost kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, like Armageddon or something. You know, like the world's like bursting apart, but still cool looking, still uh, still color wax. Um, but yeah, very, this has been on my want list for a while. Just been waiting to track down uh, the color vinyl. So happy about that. Witch Vomit. Very strong LP. Um, all right, couple on... Uh, most of the rest of these are online finds from various places. Uh, Newberry Comics ha had a uh, their yearly 25% uh, off sale. I did not go as crazy as I thought I was going to go. Uh, I wavered back and forth about what I was going to buy a bunch of times, and it was one of those things where it's like, I, I have to get something because the sale is too good. But... Um, uh, I limited myself. I only got two records. I got one non-metal record. This is metal adjacent, uh, but something that is like a crucial element to to me uh, personally that uh, has got to be my vinyl collection. Uh, so this is a band Harm's Way. This is their album Isolation. This is the uh, tenth anniversary Redux edition. Um, so remastered album on disc one, and then uh, some bonus remixes uh, on disc two. You got Dylan Walker from Full of Hell, Justin Broderick from Goldflesh, Godflesh, excuse me, and, uh, Pet Brick, which is, uh, Igor Cavalera, his, uh, his noise project. And Andrew Nolan, which is a name I recognize, but I don't remember his, uh, his project, but very nice, stout and gatefold. Uh, Harm's Way is legendary Chicago hardcore, uh, but they also mix some real heavy metal stuff. Uh, and the music as well. Very nice spot gloss gatefold. This whole package is like so killer. And one of the reasons I picked this up is because it seemed like it was already on sale before the sale. So I think it ended up being like 11 bucks after the sale. Just like something I was not going to be able to pass up. Um, and unfortunately, I've like, I had Harm's Way Vinyl in the past and I just don't have any anymore. They've kind of just faded out of the collection, but I need to get the other Harm's Way records. But I figured this would be the best place to start. Um, so we've got a white and silver record, kind of, uh, looks like that crowbar. And then there's also a black and silver record, which is the second LP, which I kind of forgotten about because the hype sticker only says white and silver, but I think the hype sticker is in this print. There's that black and silver, which looks really dope. But yeah, Harm's Way Isolation, uh, this is their second full length record. Um, so, so, so good. Uh, happy to have this in the collection. Uh, I got to circle back around, get the other Harm's Way stuff. But yeah, extremely heavy, crushing, uh, hardcore. Um, but uh, has got some, you know, again, very metallic, very metallic. A classic Chicago band. Uh, some more Chicago metal. Um, so th this is, these two I records I really lucked out with and this type of thing never <laughs> happens to me but um i got the first two albums by the band were layer um which is a uh, chicago based uh post metal 
and uh, kind of progressive metal band. Um, it is uh, Trevor DeBra, who's the main cat from Pelican, uh, a legendary Chicago uh, post metal and, and stoner metal band. Um, this relayer is a little bit more progressive and uh, it's still heavy, but it's way more like entangling, you know? Um, so they just released a new record that I was really excited about and it uh, made me reflect on the fact that I never uh, bought the first two albums on vinyl. Uh, so I tracked them down. Uh, this first one I got for, directly from the band's band camp. They said they had exactly one copy left. So uh, I said, I will take it. And uh, since they only have one copy left, I might as well see if I can find their their second record, Actual Existence, uh, which I'll take out of the sleeves that's I glaring. Uh, I ordered that from the Napalm Records distro. Uh, also, they only had one copy left. Not only that, <laughs> Both pressings were marked as black, and I got out of print color variants on both, which was very, very exciting. Um, usually it's the way around. Usually I end up ordering a color vinyl and it shows up black on accident. Uh, it's very rarely the opposite, so I got very, very excited. So this is uh, the first LP, uh, Delayer is the name of this album, on clear vinyl. It looks very cool. This is released on Magic Bullet. Uh, who I completely forgot to put this out. When I got it in the mail, I was uh, surprised that it came in a Magic Bullet uh, mailer, because <laughs> I was like, I think I just ordered this from, uh, from the, the band, but one of those, like, band runoff band camps, but yeah, uh, Delayer by Relayer, um, first LP on Clear, and then the second album, Actual Existence, yeah, really good, just, like, very long, like, stoner metal jams, uh, really, really dope. Some very cool, nice kind of mint green marble on this too. So lucked out on both of them with the uh, with the color wax. Was very very stoked on that. Uh, but yeah, so excited to have these relayers. Uh, the new relayer album, which is self titled, uh, does not have any vinyl pressing stuff yet. Uh, uh, I'm assuming because of the production delays. Uh, but there's a cassette and a CD available, streaming on digital, of course, uh, vinyl later to come. Um, so I ordered a bunch of stuff from a Lunchbox Records uh, in North Carolina, becoming one of my favorite places to buy metal vinyl. They have a great uh, metal selection, and uh, usually for the lowest prices, I, I see new metal releases. Um, so I actually got a few things from them. I won't show all of them. Um, I showed them off in a live stream before, but uh, I wanted to highlight this since this is actually the only like new album that I bought from that lot and it's uh, one of my favorite records of this year uh this is the new dark funeral we are the apocalypse uh classic swedish black metal extremely heavy there was a point in time where uh you know when i was in like middle school discovering black metal uh like this was the scariest band i'd ever heard uh now i listen to them now and it's like they're very uh intentionally trying to be over the top but there's some like great riffs on this just again stuff like let the devil in when our vengeance is done. Uh, a beast to praise, you know. It's like very tongue-in-cheek black metal, uh, but it's but it's really good. It's really well played. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, look at look at these fellers. There's there's nothing scary about these fellers. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. But yeah. Uh, this is the red wax version. There was a deluxe box set that looked kind of cool, but uh, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't really crazy about spending a hundred bucks on one album uh, that is a new album from a band who's uh, would be the first vinyl in my collection of this band. So I just want the red wax. Uh, I figured black wax would actually be more appropriate, but this is one of the weird times where the black wax is actually delayed to like October. Uh, so the only vinyl available for this at this point was red. So got that. Um, a couple, uh, last three here, a couple Amazon finds. Um, this was from the, uh, Amazon warehouse, uh, which I have had exactly split down the middle luck with. Uh, it is like, it either works out or it's a totally waste of time and I just return it. But this one, uh, worked out great. Um, this is the last 10 seconds of life. That is the name of the band and the name of the record. Um, this band is, is in a crazy transition period at the moment. Uh, this band has had a rotating cast of singers, uh, I think their entire career. Um, but this record came out in like January, February of this year. They went on tour with Capital Decapitation. 
And uh, after the Cattle Decapitation tour, it was announced that every member of this band quit except for the guitar player. <laughs> Um, but they have now reformed with a bunch of other members, uh, and they are supposedly recording new music. Uh, I don't know what it's going to sound like, but this record rips. Uh, it's not going to be for everybody. It is deathcore. Uh, I know that is a, a haram genre for a lot of people, but, uh, you know, uh, I think, I don't know what I think. I just think this record is really heavy. There's like elements of new metal as well, uh, which I'm really digging. Uh, but it's just like obnoxiously heavy, very, very over the top. Uh, again, may not be for everybody, but uh, I really like the mosh riffs on this. I really like the kind of uh, bitter, negative vocals as well. Um, and yeah, just really enjoying this new record from the last 10 seconds of life on Unique Leader Records. Uh, this comes with five different inserts. I won't pull them out, but there's like an insert for every member of the band, which looks kind of cool. Uh, this is clear black and silver vinyl. Yeah, really, really digging this one. Uh, this is another kind of uh, metalcore, deathcore record. Technical death. Oh, this is really tech death, but it's, uh, well, let me just talk about it. <laughs> this is a band called Caliban. Uh, record's called Dystopia. A uh, new band to me. I heard one of their songs in a, uh, like a new up and coming metal playlist and I enjoyed it. Uh, weirdly enough, when I first listened to this record, I was not that impressed. Um, I thought there have been there have been so many uh, deathcore and metalcore records from the first you know half of this year that it not all of them I figured were going to be bangers. Uh, but I it's cool that a lot of bands are really putting the style forward, and now this this you know this new breed of deathcore is basically a mix of like new metal, death metal, and, and hardcore. Uh, which are all things I love, and it are all great mosh riffs. Um, so I checked out this Caliban record, and uh, I thought it was okay, but there was one song on this record that kept sticking with me, uh, which is actually, it's the last track on the vinyl here, but it's not the last track on the digital. So either they have cut out a song from the vinyl, or uh, they've rearranged the track listing. I'm not sure at this point, but The World Breaks Everyone is like a banger, and it like was on my... 2022 playlist in rotation. So I went back and I listened to the record again. I actually really dug it <laughs> after listening to that song a bunch of times. Um, yeah, really good. Uh, a bit of industrial elements as well, but just really good, heavy uh, mosh riffs, um, death metal hardcore mix. Really, really good. Love that record cover as well. Uh, this has a poster and a booklet and a whole bunch of goodies on uh, this pink and black marble wax, which looks very cool. Um, but yeah, I uh, I am digging this Calvin record. I have not heard a lot of people talking about it, but uh, I, uh, I'm really digging it. Uh, and then I got one uh, one new Walmart record. Uh, picked up Korn, Follow the Leader. Uh, Korn is a band who was my favorite band for a brief period of time in middle school. Uh, when I got into high school and started getting into more like Thinking Man's music, I kind of to, you know, I, I shoved Korn out of the way. Uh, but Korn, that was also when Korn was making like their worst music of their career. Uh, and then right out, I got out, right as I got out of college uh, was when they put out Serenity of Suffering, which was like the first like return to form Korn record in a while. And then I was all in <laughs> on Korn again. Um, so I know all their records have been going through a reissue campaign lately, um, but this is a newly released uh, Walmart exclusive on Red, which I have not even opened yet. So let's crack this open and see what this looks like here. We got two custom inner sleeves, look very nice. And clear red wax, which also looks very nice. Chords Issues was one of the first three albums I ever bought on vinyl with uh, my own money, like way, way back. Um, and uh, I unfortunately don't have that anymore. So I would love a, to see a colored reissue of Issues at some point, but uh, at some point I just need to actually get the issues record, but yeah, Corn Fall Leader. This is a classic. This has all the hits: Freak on a Leash, Got the Life, Children of the Corn, Dead Bodies Everywhere, All the Family. Um, yeah, you know, classic, classic heavy new metal. Um, happy to have it. That's it.